A controlling stockholder, or stockholder with voting control over a corporation, generally has a fiduciary duty to act in the best interests of the corporation and its collective stockholders. We explore the intersection of that fiduciary duty and efforts to secure control premiums in In Re Delphi Financial Group shareholder litigation. When Robert Rosencrantz, the founder of Delphi Financial Group, took Delphi public, he created two classes of common stock. Class A stock, which was publicly traded, entitled holders to one vote per share. But Class B stock, which was retained exclusively by Rosencrantz, entitled Rosencrantz to 10 votes per share. Consequently, although Rosencrantz retained only 13% of Delphi's outstanding stock, he possessed 49.9% of the voting power. In 2011, Tokyo Marine Holdings sought to acquire Delphi, offering $46 per share, approximately double the market price. Because Rosencrantz possessed voting control, his approval was necessary to effectuate the merger. But Rosencrantz wouldn't vote in favor unless he received a control premium, meaning he would receive more per share than Class A stockholders. Such a control premium was prohibited by Delphi's charter, which stated that both classes must be treated equally in a merger. Unwilling to walk away from the lucrative Tokyo deal, however, the board negotiated a differential with Rosencrantz, whereby Rosencrantz would receive approximately $54 per share, while Class A stockholders would receive approximately $45 per share. Believing the merger to still be in the best interest of Class A stockholders, the board approved it, with ultimate consummation conditioned on a majority vote of the Class A stockholders and an amendment to Delphi's charter to allow Rosencrantz's differential. Some of the Class A stockholders filed suit against Rosencrantz Delphi's directors and senior officers, and Tokyo, alleging, among other things, that Rosencrantz breached his fiduciary duty by seeking a control premium. The stockholders filed a motion for preliminary injunction in the Delaware Court of Chancery, seeking to prevent consummation of the merger while the suit was pending. 